we'll move on from there, and we will talk about the Colorado Buffalo. Or the Buffaloes, or whatever. Carl Durrell's bunch. You would talk about Colorado before talking about Cal? Uh, well, are we Cal doing? is in the north, um, oh, so we're, okay. we're in the south right now. <laughs> I, was, I just did alphabetical. I just did alphabetical. That happens. It's all okay. good. I was so, like, wait a minute. Did no, I, I, did, did so I have a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're we're going by division, so we're starting with the South. That's right. We'll move into the North after, but Colorado is our our next bunch. SP Plus and FBI both have them going five and seven this year. Uh, they went five and seven in 2019. They went four and two last year, and and impressed. Yes, in Carl Durrell's first year. That's right. Uh, had a, a safety playing quarterback, all that kind of stuff. Now I mean, he's gone. They, but, yeah, they had all kinds of issues, but they but fought they through those issues. Yeah, uh, win total sits at four and a half. Over and under both are juiced at minus 115. Um, you know, the first season, impressive. They got demolished in, in the two games where they played actual good teams against Utah and Texas. Like, they got smoked down in those games. Um, but how many of those games are you going to have each year? Like, they do they do host Texas A&M this year, so that's not ideal. But other than that, I mean, Minnesota, Northern Colorado, like, those are your non-conference games, okay? Yeah, I think whatever. Minnesota, um, I think, is going to be better than you think, but that's okay. I mean, we, we shall see. Minnesota's... Run defense last year was hot garbage. Okay. Hot garbage. But either way, either way, the offense, uh, they got big play potential. And right. uh, running back Broussard, uh, wide receiver Stanley is back. Uh, they were not efficient last year, but they were explosive. Like, they, when, when they hit plays, man, they hit them big. And yeah. it was a fun, fun type of offense to watch. Uh, tons of skill talent returns, but the question is, who is going to be the quarterback? So, we we still have no idea on that. It's it. Two, three-headed race at this point. Who knows? Uh, defense, too many mistakes last year. Just too many. They are aggressive. They can create havoc. It's a fun style to play. But this season, they cannot afford missed assignments like they did last year and, and missed tackles. So, well, But that's what happens when you play that aggressive yeah. uh, uh, defense like that. It When you make mistakes, you get gashed. Oh, yes. and they And they did. They did, and then, but I think so, I think at the talent level that Colorado has, this is the devil that you've got to deal with. Yeah, right. You have to take gambles and you have to hope to hit home runs, and when you miss, the other team hits a home run on you. But if you don't hit big on your end, they were just going to score anyway. Yeah. But instead of scoring in three plays, they score in twelve. So it doesn't matter. It's a whole. Th- this thing. is why you take the swing because you know you don't have the talent to hang with them. Yeah. Right I tend now. To agree. I tend to agree. I've got them going under the four and a half. Yeah, I do too. I so, do too. This is a team I'm excited to watch, but I don't think is going to be great yet. I don't think so either. Uh, the The road schedule is not ideal uh, at Arizona State, at Cal, at Oregon, at UCLA, at Utah. And then, of course, there's Washington. Yeah, like, all, their, all their coin flip games are on the road. Yes, That's, it is rough. It's not what you want, but it happens. You have And then, like I said, I, I think A&M and Minnesota are just – Better football teams than them. I, I tend to agree with that. I tend to agree. All right, moving. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.